Hello and welcome to Uptime's Tech Tip videos. My name is Abdullah Salim. I'm a solutions architect here at Uptime Software. Today we're going to be taking a look at installing extensions using the extension manager shipped with Uptime 7.3. So let's start by taking a look at the service monitors that are already built into the product. So you'll have service monitors related to monitoring processes, file system, the basic items, and then uh, extend it further into monitoring your databases, your email servers, your web services, uh, and so forth. So all these service monitors are already built into the product. Uh, but I want to go beyond this. I want to monitor some additional items. And that's where the extensions within the extension manager comes in. Right? So if I click on this want more link at the very top here, that'll load up the extension manager. And the extension manager is where Uptime releases additional plugins or extensions that we, re that we release over time or our customers have developed and they've uh, provided to the community. So you'll see things related to EC2, uh, to EMC VNX, and so forth. Let's say today I'm interested in AIX. I want to monitor uh, AIX specifically. So in this search field, I'm just going to type in AIX, and that will filter my results. So these are the four results that are there for AIX. And uh, this AIX LPAR workload, it seems interesting. So I'll click on that link, and what that will do is it'll load up the grid. Now the grid is where you'll find more information about each one of these extensions. Uh, you'll find uh, a link to the GitHub project. So this is where the source code uh, for all the extensions and monitors are. Uh, so I can go ahead, take a look at the project, take a look at the source code, maybe fork it, uh, add additional code, or make a quick change, um, and push it back uh, to the project. Uh, and uptime will merge that in after testing it. As well, I'll find information about what monitoring stations are supported by uh, this uh, particular extension. And uh, additional information, again, the description, uh, installation notes, and also what the input and output variables are for this particular extension. Right? This looks like exactly what I need. So going back to the extension manager, I can go ahead and click on this install link here. And what that's doing in the background is Uptime is connecting to GitHub and it's downloading uh, that particular extension package. So if for whatever reason your network restricts you from connecting to GitHub or out, on, out to the internet, uh, what you can do is set up a local extension manager. You can find instructions for that uh, down below in the notes section. Now, once I've installed this extension, you'll notice there is a note here to fully enable this monitor. I need to restart the uptime data collector. So I'm going to go ahead and load the services up for this particular monitoring station. And there's the data collector service. I'm just going to restart that. And once that's restarted, that'll conclude or finish up the installation. So I can go ahead and click done. And there's that uh, particular monitor installed. I also want to install the AIX Alpar CPU Advanced Monitor, so I'll go ahead and click on Install. And once that's done installing, again, note here that this plugin requires additional scripts. And I need to go to the plugins page to see what those scripts are, so clicking on that plugins link, that'll load up the grid. And if I scroll down, I see that there are agent files for this particular monitor. So what I need to do is just download these files and scripts and put them on my agents in order to utilize this monitor. Now I can go ahead and close this, click done on that one, and we'll see that that monitor uh, has installed as well. Now if we go back to the service monitors here, we'll see those two monitors that we just installed, the AIX CPU Advanced and the workload uh, set up like any other monitor that we have. So I can select it, click continue there at the very bottom, and uh, set this monitor up like I would any other service monitor. And that's how you would install extensions using the extension manager. Thank you for joining us for Uptime's Tech Tip videos. If you have any questions, shoot us an email, info at uptimesoftware.com, or visit our website, uptimesoftware.com, for more information.